Hi, Chris Abbott here, and I wanted to take a moment today to discuss multiple offers, what they are and how to best prepare to enter into one, and come out on the other side not feeling as though you won the battle but lost the war. For the start of 2016, Oakville and the surrounding GTA marketplace is currently seeing unprecedented levels of multiple offer situations, fueled in large part by low inventory supply, low borrowing costs, and an influx of foreign investment dollars. For those buyers who are completely unprepared and who have not done their homework, these conditions have created the perfect storm, and without professional guidance, they are flying blind and their offer will likely result in upset or disappointment. Never before has it been more important than to have your own personal representation when looking for a home. Be sure to interview several realtors to find the right fit for you, how you like to work, your style, and of course, making sure that you connect with and have full trust and confidence in your realtor. This is an absolute must, along with their experience and expertise in the market you're buying in. To prepare yourself for the market you are looking to buy in, the following steps will help you tremendously and offer you peace of mind. After all, you don't know what you don't know, so it's critical to do your homework and seek professional guidance. First, establish your budget, and to do this, you will need to get a full pre-approval for mortgage financing so you know exactly how far you can push things while still remaining within your budget and maintaining your lifestyle. Second, determine your exact needs. Are you looking to simply enter the market and own real estate? Or are you looking for a specific neighborhood, school district, lifestyle, type of home, or proximity to work and play? The more specific you can be about what you want and equally important, what you are willing to compromise, is a big step towards making a confident offer. For example, you may be willing to sacrifice the size of a home in order to have the perfect backyard or get an older home that may require updating, but it's close to work, resulting in a faster commute. When I find your perfect home, if the seller has not done a pre-home inspection, I'll advise my clients to have our own property inspector or contractor go into the property before the offer date. All homes and houses, they all have their issues big and small, but a pre-home inspection will help you determine whether or not you can afford to take on those repairs. On the day of the offer, I choose to be in constant communication with the listing agent and the brokerage to find out how many registered offers there are on the property. My strategy will vary depending on the location, the time of the year, and when is the best time to register an offer within this process. It's always important to come to a multiple offer situation with a certified check or bank draft for the deposit. Having a strong deposit affects the strength of your offer and sellers will also realize you're a serious candidate. If there are two offers at the same price or one is a little less, it's in the seller's interest to offer the offer from the buyer with a certified check or bank draft in hand. I know how important it is to have good working relationships and open and clear communication with other realtors and having a good understanding of how other realtors work as well as their tactics and strategies. It gives me great insight into how to work with them and the offer at hand. Some realtors might accept an offer on the first round while others may take multiple rounds. Strategies and outcomes are definitely situational. Typically, I may ask a selling realtor if there are any general information items that we should know about that might help my client's chances. For instance, like the seller's ideal closing date. Ultimately, it doesn't matter how many other people are involved in a multiple offer situation. Don't concern yourself with competing offers. Just understand what you're buying, the value and the worth of the property based on the historical data which I will have shared with you, as well as the value to you and your family takes away the fear of entering a multiple offer situation or a bidding war. If you don't try, you'll never know whether you would have been successful. Good luck out there, and if I can be of any service to you or anyone you know, please don't hesitate to call me anytime for a friendly chat about your real estate goals. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.